Hi, you guys. If you want to learn how to make my easy and delicious short rib pasta, stay tuned. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is prep our short ribs. These are cleaned and I'm gonna go ahead and season them with a little bit of Kinder's and this has salt, pepper, and garlic in it. We're gonna season those liberally, just like so. I'm gonna also use some onion powder and then we're gonna move over to the stove where I have my preheated pan here with a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm just gonna go ahead and sear these short ribs on all sides. All right, so once our short ribs are nice and golden brown on all sides, we're gonna remove them from the pan so we can saute our vegetables. I have some chopped bell pepper and onion here. You can use as much or as little as you would like. I use roughly a half a cup or so, a little bit more of those chopped veggies. And we're gonna go ahead and saute that until they're nice and tender. After a few minutes, we're gonna go ahead and put in that tomato paste. And I'm putting in roughly half a tablespoon or so of that tomato paste and some minced garlic you can put in as much or as little as you would like go ahead and give that a good stir just like so Next, I'm adding in some red wine, about a half a cup or so. Um, I typically don't cook with wines that are labeled cooking wine. I typically cook with wines that I would actually drink. Um, so I would suggest using a nice dry red wine for this recipe. So once again, we're gonna give everything a good stir. Next, I'm adding in one carton of beef broth and one 14 ounce can of crushed tomatoes. Of course, we have to season this up and I'm adding in my usuals, some garlic powder, some salt, some pepper, and onion powder. And anytime I'm making a dish that has some tomato products, um, like this one, it has tomato paste and crushed tomatoes, I like to use a little bit of sugar to balance out that acidity. And I'm also using some thyme, some rosemary, and bay leaves. And remember, before you put your short ribs into the sauce to cook the rest of the way, make sure you give it a good taste to ensure that your flavors are balanced and on point because the meat is going to soak up the flavors of that sauce. And if your sauce doesn't taste good, then the meat is not going to taste good, okay? So we're just going to put the lid on and let this simmer for several hours. Hours, you guys for at least three hours okay so this is roughly around the halfway point and we're just going to go ahead and flip that meat over making sure that every piece of that meat is getting some love okay so while our short ribs are continuing to cook we're going to go ahead and cook our pasta and this is the type that I'm using I have some boiling salted water here we're going to cook our pasta for approximately seven to eight minutes okay we don't want to overcook our noodles all right so it's been about three hours or so and our short ribs are done so we're going to go ahead and remove them from the saw so we can go ahead and shred it up All right, our short ribs are nice and shredded. Now we're gonna move back over to the stove and put that meat back into the sauce. I've already removed all of the herbs um, as well. All right, so go ahead and give it a good stir. And as you can see, our sauce is really, really thick. We're gonna add in a little bit of water. If you have some reserved pasta water, that would work even better. But just add in a little bit of water at a time to get to the consistency that you like best. All right, that looks perfect. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our pasta and give everything a nice toss. Of course, I had to add some parsley to make it pretty. And that is it, you guys. My easy and delicious short rib pasta. Y'all, this was absolutely amazing. <laughs>
And of course, when you serve yourself, add a little bit of Parmesan or Pecorino Romano, whatever you like, and a little bit more parsley. And then prepare yourself for the biggest, warmest hug <laughs> that you can get from a bowl of food, you guys. This was so, so good. All of the flavors worked beautifully together. The pasta was perfectly cooked. The meat was nice and tender. Y'all, it was just so good. I hope you give this recipe a try, and I hope you love it just as much as me and my family did. I thank you guys so, so much for watching as always. If you did enjoy it, make sure you give me a thumbs up and even share it with a friend. I love you guys, and I will see y'all on the next one. Until then, bye.